single elk there. I've got a tag for it. Although it's the only one in the area you can see. Keep watching. Okay, zooming in, we got three more elk right there. There's one, two in the middle of the screen and one kind of in the more upper right from there. So there's three cow elk right there and there's also another one, if I can get over here, there's another one over in this area that I found with my binos. Where'd he go? I think he's actually in the middle of the screen right there. That dark blotch in the trees. And that's in the lower left. I believe that's another cow elk right there. Yep. In the lower left there, there's one I believe that's bedding. Yep. In fact... Are those? Those are deer. Down lower. The deer. The one on the left, I think, is bedded in the trees. But there's three elk there, so now we got four. So if we can get in all these and not scare them out tomorrow, these are lower than the other one was. So. How do we get up in there without scaring them? So we'll have to plan a route, assuming that they're still in this area. I'm looking around through some of the other areas, see if they see more up um, in there. So what we'll probably do, the game plan probably will, will come up this side to the left side of that canyon. For the rope go up on the other side? And no, we'll work up our way up in the, we'll work our way up this way and come over that left ridge. It's almost public, it's almost private property on the other side. But I know that canyon right there is public. Because I- So we just gotta hope that because they don't the rest, go over there. Because the rest, the part we're parking is over by those trees right there. The the stuff we're talking about is not on the camera, guys. Not in the video. So we could, we'll park up there and then I'm pretty sure that canyon right there is public too. So we'll go up there and then we work over, we work over the ridge to here till we can see them, and that's easily 100 yards. Mm. That's an easy shot. So we'll just kind of shot from 100 yards. Yeah, the range where we t shoot sight in with the only targets. 100 yards? That's 100 yards. So we've got that canyon there, and they're working their way over to this other one. So I mean, they they may stay in this canyon here. They're gonna stay in that or come over tomorrow this morning, one. or they'll work their way over this one. And like that other one is still up in there feeding. But it looks kind of like too with the snow depth, they're not as low and not moving up over the top. They're kind of they're kind of medium yeah. there. And so I'm gonna look in this other canyon over here. See if I see any more migrating over. No, it's not the front from the front. Okay, guys, we're up in this. I don't know how much you'll be able to hear me. We forgot a bunch of our camera equipment, so I'm just using my phone. But uh, we're up on this late season cow elk hunt, and we shot at an elk way down that canyon and around the bend. We've been tracking it up here. Um, we lost blood there was, and we were following the tracks and it was pretty obvious. And just a little spattering blood here and there and then there's no blood so I think it was just a flesh wound. But we did see a bunch of elk on the other side of this ridge that we're kind of trying to, we're going to, try to work up to. We're kind of debating though because we have been here pretty far. We've got to get up in there and range the other side. See how far away from it is there and see if there's a, how big the canyon is because in another couple weeks these things should be down. So we're kind of just debating on whether it's worth the effort to keep going up in here after these or what. But there's a herd of at least like nine cow elk up here. So we're going to give this a shot to see what we can come up with here. So, okay guys, we're up here. I got up to this next ridge and I don't know if you can see them. There's some elk sitting right past that tree right there that were 
just trying to figure out about putting a stock in on them and the range and see how much further we can get up there. And we're trying to find out. It's getting not very far up and it becomes private, so we're checking that out with Onyx maps too. So hopefully it's not wind blowing like crazy, but if I can do this again, maybe. Got some elk just up in there. And man, that looks like an elk antler right there, but it's not, it's a twig. You can see, you can see the elk right there. And we're just trying to get it over, so we're just like hunker down like this. And they disappear, so we're trying to put a stock in on them and find out with Onyx if it's private up there or not. Okay guys, this is what we found out. They're, they're right over there still, but they're so close to the private, they're afraid if we shoot them and don't take them down right off. They're at 233 yards and 